In every culture, prophets have been sought. Some have had a true connection to God, while others have been deceivers. The arch-impostor Muhammad, known to many as the Prophet Muhammad, was in his early career affected to respect the Christians. But no sooner was his power established than he displayed himself in his true colors as their determined and sanguinary enemy. This he proved by his persecution of them in his lifetime, by commanding that persecution be continued by his deluded followers in his Al-Quran, also known to the English world as the Quran, particularly the chapter entitled The Chapter of the Sword. Muhammad was born at Mecca in Arabia, AD 571. His parents were poor and his education mean, but by the force of his genius and an uncommon subtlety, he raised himself to be the founder of Mohammedanism and the sovereign of kingdoms. His Al-Quran is a jumble of paganism, Judaism, and Christianity. It is adapted entirely to the sensual appetites and passions, and the chief promises held out to its believers are women and wine. Muhammad established his doctrine by the power of the sword. The sword, said he, is the key of heaven and of hell. Whoever falls in battle, his sins are forgiven him. His wounds shall be as resplendent as vermilion and odiferous as musk. The loss of his limbs shall be supplied with the wings of angels. He allowed that Christ was a great prophet and a holy man, that he was born of a virgin, received up into glory, and that he shall come again to destroy the Antichrist. From him the Turks received their religion, which they still maintain. Muhammad and his descendants, in the space of thirty years, subdued Arabia, Palestine, Phoenicia, Syria, Egypt, and Persia. They soon, however, broke into divisions and wars amongst themselves. But the princes of the Saracens, assuming the title of Sultan, continued their rule over Syria, Egypt, and Africa for the space of about 400 years. When the Saracen king of Persia commenced the war against the Saracen Sultan of Babylon, and the latter brought to his aid the Turks, these feeling their own strength soon turned their arms against their masters, and by the valor of Ottomanus, from whom are descended the present family who fill the Turkish throne, they soon subdued them and established their empire and the capital of Constantinople.